Hey makers, in this episode, I'm going to talk about how you can create the repeating section inside the Power Pages form. So this is one of the form which we have created in one of the our earlier session of this Power Pages step by step tutorial series. If you haven't gone through those episodes, the link is available in the description box. So this is the basic form which we created earlier. Now over here, I want to create one repeating section to add the multiple experiences. So employee have worked on the different companies and we want to capture the entire history inside the form. So we need a functionality that with the same form, they can attach multiple experiences. So how can we get started for that kind of repeating section or subgrade component inside the power pages. Let's have a look around that. So first of all, what I'm going to do here is I'm just opening my solution that we have created for this power pages and I'm going to create one table for capturing the experiences. So let's create a new table. So here one of the table we already created with the name of employee and now let's capture the employee experiences. So create a new table from here and let's provide the experiences. So I created a table employee experiences and let's click on save button. So my ex employee experiences table is created and now I need some more columns inside that. So for that, let's create a new column for start date, taking a data type as date only and click on save. Similar way, I need end date. I also want to capture the role information over here. So I just keep that as a text column. And that's how this looks like. Now to create the repeating section, we need to create the relationship column with our parent table. So for that, let's go to the new column and let's provide the employee ID over here. So employee ID is nothing but our parent tables relationship. And for that, let's have a look on the lookup column and look up on employee table we need here. So let's provide the name of the table as employee and let's create that relationship table column over here. So my table is created now. Let's go to the table and now let's work on the form. So whenever the repeating section is open, we need to create the new form and edit form as well. So for that, I just click on this form and I'm just going to create a new main form. So let's create a new main form and in form, how many fields do we need? Let's apply it over here. So here, this is my company name. I don't want to see this. So let me just hide this. And after that, let me just add the start date and date column, start date and date. I also need a column of role. So let's have a look. Let's select this entire section and let me make as a two column section. So it will look like this. Let me just add start date and end date just after each other. So I arrange this column properly by dragging and dropping the thing and let's click on save and publish. So let me just rename this form. I'm just new EMP experiences subgrade from. So I'm just renaming this form and clicking on save and publish. So I published this particular form. Let me just go back. And now similar way, let me just go to the view. So in subgrid, what, what are the things you want to see? So let's click on new view and let's provide a subgrid view. Subgrid view experiences and let's click on create. And now let's add the different column over here. So this is my company name. After that, I need start date. I need end date. I need roll column and now let me just click on save and publish one more time so this will publish this subgrid view form let me go back and now let me just go back to my solution and now let me go to my parent table which is my employee table and we will use the exact same form that we created earlier so this is the main form that we created earlier for the basic form implementation so I just did that part. So this is the form I opened and now I want to add the repeating section over here for the different kind of experiences to be added. Okay. So for that, I'm just selecting this form. I'm just going to the component section and let's add the subgrid component over here. So it will start adding the subgrid component. 
and first of all we need to provide the name of the table so here i need to provide my table name as employee experiences and we need to provide which default view you want to load so this is the view that we created subgrid view experiences so let's provide it and let's click on done so it will add the subgrid component so it has added that component over here because my cursor was there but let me just add that at the end over here so let me add one column section at the bottom okay let's rename the section as add experiences and now let me just drag this component from here to that section so let me simply drag this and add this over here and here we are i added this thing perfectly over here let's rename the subgrid component experiences you can also change the name over here experiences and over here you also need to select show related record so only record associated with that particular thing will be available over here so make sure make sure that you select this show related record okay and once you select it you may be you need to reset this thing again one more time so i'm selecting my table again and i'm selecting my view again over here and that's how it will look like okay so make sure that show related record is turned on over here now let's save and publish this form now we need to provide the permission as well on the experiences table so let me just go to portal management application going to the portal management app just go to the table permission let me add a new permission i'm just providing employee experience permission let's select the table i am selecting the table name let's select the website let's provide the access type providing global i'm just providing every permission over here let's click on save after that we need to assign the web role so i'm just going to add existing web role and i'm selecting permission to each web role over here and click on save and close now after setting up the permission we need to set up the basic form metadata and one more important thing here that whatever subgrid that we apply into our form that is only applicable for the edit form it will not applicable for the new form because subgrid record will be created only after your parent record is saved okay so what we will do here is we earlier created the basic form for the employee onboarding so we will open the same basic form over here so i am opening here the employee edit form from here and just go to the basic form metadata and over here let's add the subgrid option over here click on basic form metadata and let's click on new basic form metadata from here select the subgrid option and select the subgrid name from here so experiences is the subgrid name which will automatically populate and now we need to configure the grid configuration for create and edit but we haven't created the form for our sub pages so let's keep it as is and click on save and close and now let's create the basic forms for employee experiences table so i'm just clicking on new and clicking on employee experiences new form and from here let's select the table name employee experiences select the form name so this is the form we created tab is general and mode is insert which is fine and select the website which is our this website click on save and close and same way let's create the edit form for employee experiences so edit emp experience and let's provide the table name over here emp experiences select this form and from here select the general tab and select the edit mode from here and from here let's select the query string select the website i'm selecting this website and let's click on save and close so these two forms are created now let's open our main form which is our employee edit form and go to the basic form metadata select our basic form metadata and click on edit 
and from here let's do the grid configuration for create and edit let's click on that from here select the basic form that we created employee experience new form and employee experience edit form and i will configure the delete action as well so we configured this basic form metadata over here for subgrade let's click on save and close and now let's taste the functionality so now i'm just going to the grid that we created earlier so i'm just clicking on sync and let's preview the changes it will show the appropriate record over here let me select any of the record and click on edit this will open the edit form over here and here you can see that the subgrid element has been added you can add as much as experience you want so let's say i just want to add emp1 role taste role i am just adding start date and end date click on submit and you can see that you don't have an appropriate permission now let's check out the permission so i am just going to the table permission and let's see what permission we have created here so at this moment employee experience permission we created earlier where we provide all the permission but employee form we didn't provided append and append to permission so that's why those lookup columns are not able to match with each other let's click on save and close and now let's have a look let's click on edit one more time and now let's try to add one experience here I'm just trying to add this experience providing the different value clicking on submit and here we are the record has been created successfully similar way you can create the another record as well employee 2 click on submit and you are good so you can add as much as experience related to this specific item over here inside your form so that's how the repeating section concept will work into the power pages so if i explain the overall repeating section feature over here the conclusion is you cannot save the child record until you save the parent record which means that you cannot add your repeating section directly in the new mode because you still didn't save your parent record once you save the parent record only after that you will be able to associate child record and done it that so if you have that kind of requirement that during the new time itself you want to add the experiences at the same time sorry guys you can't do that because this is the technical limitations that we have at this moment generally there are some alternatives you can use here which i will showcase into our upcoming videos that you can create a multi step form in multi step form what you can do is you can divide your form into multiple parts and let's say uh, you can have just a basic information in the first step and when you have a next button you already save that record so at the same time you can be able to add your experiences in your subgrid but just wait for one more session for the multi step form in the power pages and you will get that uh, alternative solution for that but if you have that kind of requirement in your basic form then this is the only way you can achieve that that uh, your subgrid will only be able to open in your edit form not in your new form because your parent record is not saved hope this video helps you and values your time looking for any training or paid consultation the website link is available here and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram and all the other social media links are available on the channel cover right page make sure you follow me on every platform over here with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye